Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 2. I'm your host, Swinchin. When we last left off, we were exploring the mines and Salva or Silva. And we were trying to find Arena, who had been kidnapped by Alan. Shall we find her? Well, we'll find out today! Oh hey, there she is. Found her! That was fast. Alright, let's go home. Arena! Come any closer. So you're Alan. You're the weird guy I saw when I was leaving Shingo Force. Uh, that's not a wedding, dude. I don't know what kind of messed up religion you have, but in America, well, actually in most places, a wedding is consented between both parties. Now, I do admit there are such things as arranged marriages and whatnot. But in most times, in most parts of, well, I, I'm not educated. Shut up, Sven. <laughs> oh. Alan, you're just screwed up in the head. Alright. Oh no. He's going crazy! Rena. Yeah, Alan, just stand there while I untie your bride to be. Ow! What was that? Oh, that's the stone they're talking about. Alan's new stone. <laughs> oh. I won't lose. This is boss bad. fight. Well, by boss fight I mean this is a boss fight. Ow. Wait, hold on. Uh, press triangle and battle and press. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Dang it. Where am I? How am I? I'm trying to... How do I switch to Arena? I know there's a way. Whatever. Ah, screw that. I'll figure it out in later Looks battle. Like we won. Yeah, easy, easy. Hey. You can only hit me once. Yeah. Oh, sweet. We need to gain two levels. Awesome. Haha. Uh -huh. Alan, fall down and go boom. No, I'm not okay. I like the music in this game. Who was that? His name is Alan Tax. You know who he is. Your childhood friends. Okay, that is a valid question. He was such a nice guy. Rena. Um. Yeah, that's right, we kicked your butt, son. Quick, finish him off! You have a sword, chop his head off! Um, I don't think that did much. I'll tell you where you are. You're not doing well. That's where you are. You're back to normal! Yay! What are you talking about? Boy, do I have a headache. Everything is so fuzzy. Oh, uh, don't pull this stick. Oh, it was the stone. It was the root of all evil. Ah, oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just kidding, folks. I actually do like this game a lot. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's get out of the loud music area and talk somewhere where it's quieter. Could I have done such a thing? It's it's right in your house, dude. Boss Man? What kind of name is Boss Man? It, that's his name, Boss Man, who was question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark the last episode. Uh, Absent-minded? Question mark. Oh yes, the stone had made him go mad! I'm in a weird mood today, viewers. I am had a... I woke up at 8 o'clock, worked till 3, uh, which isn't really that long, it's just only 6 hours, but now I feel all loopy. I feel terribly haughty. What does haughty mean? 
You know, I think it, I, it might, I, from what I can gather, I think it might mean you felt kind of strange, or maybe you felt powerful. Oh, oh, yeah, there it is. I'm reading the words after Hottie, and yeah, okay, yeah, it makes you just feel more powerful and overconfident. That's my best guess. Hottie means you're overconfident. Like, that's a good word for it. Oh, what's the word? Words that are similar to each other. I don't know. You did do terrible things. I was about to say a simile, but that's more of a statement. It's comparing two things with the word like or... or... like... Blah! Can't speak! Comparing things with words such as like is a, and as. Worry about it too much. And then there's homonyms, which are words that sound the same but have different meanings. And then there's. Uh, so. Uh, I, I can't think of the word. Yes, let's go back to Arlie and let everyone know that you're a okay. Oh, I think they'll understand. After all, it was magic! Oh, sweet. Instant port to Arlia. I'm down with instant ports. Less walking. Ah, I took all that treasure in the upper left-hand corner. <laughs> I have no pity nor remorse. Or I have no shame, I should say. Not pity. I don't have any pity either, but I have no shame. I took treasure. It was there. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's right. I saved her from the monkey as well. I was about to say twice. Yeah, normally I play through all of this in one setting. I, this is the. It's weird having to play through all this in a five-day period or six-day period. But meh. Nah. Was it really due to the rock? Yes. Yes, it was. Hmm. I wonder what this could be. The sorcery globe? Is that your final answer? No. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> she said it right after. Sorry, viewers. I... I spoiled it two seconds before Rena did. There may be some sort of connection. I, like I said, I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, she's just guessing. She's going on her gut instincts. Emotion and Salva. Oh, yeah, I screwed up. Wait, is capture cards freaking out on me? No, it isn't yet. Uh, yeah, just keep the phase gun hidden. hidden. No! I don't want to investigate the sorcery globe. That's someone else's problem. Extremely selfish request, but I'm afraid that you are the only one who can do it. I have a feeling that it is not unrelated to Alan's problem, but since you were able to save Alan... Obviously, you're the only competent person on this planet. <laughs> the, let me think. Uh, capture card. Seriously, pal? Seriously, Dazzle? Just don't give me this madness. And he does it! Why are you doing this, Claude? Why are you doing this? <laughs> okay, so he's doing it just so he can find a way to get back to Earth. Uh, way to go, Claude. Way to go. Yeah. Now give me all your money! You can give me the town's treasure. You aren't using it anyways. You don't have any expansion pro projects planned. No! Why would I take you along? Well, I guess I do need a white mage. I mean, a healer. 
It'll be it's dangerous to go alone. I don't need a guide, I just need people to tell me where to go next. What powers? Please say something! Don't make her go! I don't want to be stuck with this annoying woman! Capture card! Calm down! Sorry, it just keeps giving me like skips and music, and I don't like that. You're. Uh, Mr. Philbin! You're supposed to be smarter than that! Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's take a 19 year old boy and a 17 year old girl and send them out into the world to travel together. Yeah, that just sounds great. Let's send two teenagers out on their own. Ugh. Well, I guess this is better than most Final Fantasy games. Shoot, in most Final Fantasy games, they're not even 15. Ah, I'm just kidding. They're generally 16, 17. Sometimes they get as old as 21. Okay, fair enough. Need Wes's approval. Uh, see, I think the uh, Final Fantasy VI probably had one of the, the two of the oldest party members you ever get. Two old men, Cyan and Strago. But other than that, the average the, the average age seems to be around 19. My house is right over there. Yeah. What, is another giant monkey going to come out to attack us? Wait, I hope not. My phase gun's busted. Yes, I did. I don't need your help. I can get other party members who have heal spells. Oh, like it's a shock, viewers. Of course we're going to get more party members. You saw space for four people up there at the top of the screen. If you didn't, well, go back and watch a battle. We're talking. Alright, she's off. I'm with the mayor. He's confused. She is annoying. That's why. That's what's wrong with her. Seriously? Okay, I've been out in cold weather with rain and everything. And I have not caught colds. Like, I was not wearing a... I didn't have an umbrella, didn't have a jacket, nothing. But it seems every single protagonist in video games and anime, if they're caught in the rain for so much as five minutes... Achoo! Achoo! Seriously, people? Come on! 